Thank you, Father. Um, greeting saints in the name of Jesus. It's a joy, it's a privilege to be here today and to be able to just hear from the heart of the Father. Amen. I want to honor and acknowledge the presence of our president and founder of Soul and Spirit Ministries, Apostle Peggy Twala. Let's love on him this morning. Amen. I salute all the other giftings of God, in particular the fivefold ministry and then the leadership of this church and everyone who serves in this church and everyone who worships in this church. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are we expectant? Are we expectant this morning? God is faithful to always exceed our expectations. I just believe that we're at a time where we need to understand the agenda of God. And this morning I'm praying that your ears will be able to hear from the Father because it is the word of God or the word from the Father that is able to usher you to a different place. The thing that takes you to a different place from where you are is light, it's understanding. And light comes by the word of God. When he speaks, it's not the letter of the word, but it's, it's um, the spirit of the word. What am I saying to us? I'm saying that sometimes you hear what the pastor is saying instead of hearing what God is saying. And yet the word of God says, man cannot live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. So every time, you know, we have the opportunity, the privilege of meeting, our heart must be, Father, what are you saying? Because I live by the words that you speak to me. Every time you speak, even what was dead in my life comes back to to life. There's a restoration, there's a rekindling, there's a realignment by the words that you speak. And so this morning we thank God that he has released a word, a word in season. Amen. And as I was um, just worshiping and wanting to hear what the Father is saying, the Father said to me, I want, I want my people to understand what I am doing in this time. And he said, it's time for operation take over. He said, it's time for operation take over. Operation take over. It's time for the church to arise and take over every mountain of influence in the world. So God is expecting you to manifest in your glory and in your mature state. And I see the Father doing it speedily. I see him doing it speedily. It's not something that's going to take a long time. Actually, the Holy Spirit is quickening a, a, a word. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going, to, I'm going to look for it. He's quickening a word right now that I believe we need to read. Yes, it's in Numbers chapter 17. Can we go there? Thank you, Father. Numbers chapter 17, we'll read verse 7 and 8. If you can put it up. And Moses laid up the rods before the Lord in the tabernacle of witness. And it came to pass that on the morrow Moses went into the tabernacle of witness. And behold, the rod of Aaron for the house of Levi was budded and brought forth buds and bloomed blossoms and yielded almonds. This, this is one of the most profound profound scriptures, you know, that I personally have interacted with. There's a rod, literally a rod. By the time it's a rod, it's already dry. It's, it's not even wet. I mean, everything about it means, I mean, symbolizes that it's, it's, it's dead. It's over with it. And yet, the Bible says, because God wanted to prove a point, he wanted to make sure that the other Israelites were not confused about who he had chosen. The story is that all the different tribes had rods. And so they were all commanded to bring their rods. But there was only one rod that behaved strangely. 
without being planted into the ground, without being watered, without having any condition that was conducive for it to actually flourish. Because and only because of the choosing of the Lord. Someone is going to hear what the Father is saying. You are chosen of the Lord. You are chosen of the Lord. He has chosen you, not because you qualified, not because you deserved it, but he translated you out of darkness into his marvelous light. And he says it was for the display of his splendor. He calls us into fellowship and union with the Lord Jesus for the display of his splendor. You are chosen of Jehovah and Levi was the chosen one. And then he says, because other people were contesting the fact that he's chosen, he decided to show that, no, this is my chosen one. I'm speaking to someone here. There are things that are challenging the choosing of the Lord. There are things in your life that are challenging what God has said about you. There are things that want to frustrate the plan of God. There are things that have risen and have spoken and said you are ordinary. They've said there's nothing special about you. They've said you thought you were all that, but you are not all that. I'm speaking to someone here who has even been tempted to start thinking that indeed there's nothing special about me. Maybe you felt like, you know, this thing is not about supernatural are living as such. It's just about believing God and getting to heaven. But I want you to hear the word of your father. He says, I have chosen you. It's not time for you to doubt it. I judge every form of doubt. I judge every voice. I silence every voice that has made you hesitate and begin to stumble at the promises of God. I know that you've been going through a lot. I know that things have contradicted the voice of God, your situation, what you have seen with your naked eye, what you have experienced in your life has caused you to hesitate and to doubt the choosing of God. But your father says, I have chosen you. I have called you. I have anointed you. You are for the display of my splendor. You were born to display my superiority. You are the one in whom I am well pleased. You are the one that I want to use for revival. You are the one that the world will encounter when they want to encounter me. You are the one, said Jehovah. You are the one, said the Lord. I've chosen you. I've chosen you. I've chosen you. And because I have chosen you, Oh, the nations are about to bow. It's a season for your takeover. It's a season for your manifestation. You are showing up. You are showing up. Not as a mere mortal. Not as an ordinary person. You are showing up in the power of the Holy Ghost. There is an anointing. There is a grace upon your life. You are going to begin to bud. Hey! Hey, hey, you will bud. Parakapara, parakapara, parakapea, yeketurakapa, no koturukusaya. The Bible says, the Bible says, overnight. <laughs> Olo koturakapa, mandelia tulakadea. Mokoroko, shatereketurakasa. You thought it was going to take a long time. You thought you needed to first know the word. You thought you needed to study the word. You thought you needed to be very holy. But hear the word of the Lord. I have chosen you for such a time as this. Operation Takeover. Operation Takeover. So overnight, I am causing you to bud. Overnight, I am causing you to blossom. You will flower. I beautify your life. I hear God say, I'm bringing beauty. I'm bringing beauty. I'm making you beautiful because I chose you. I chose you. I chose you. I make you beautiful. I make you beautiful because I chose you. 
And then it says, and it yielded almonds. They will live because I live. They will breathe, even if there's barrenness. Because you are there, there's no fruitfulness. Even if there was stagnation, hear the word of the Lord. I chose you. There will not be stagnation around you anymore. There will not be barrenness around you anymore. There will be fruitfulness. There will be life. There will be refreshing. There will be winning. Because I chose you. I chose you. I chose you. I chose you. Believe in the choosing of the Lord. You are chosen. Come on, say, I'm chosen. Say it like you believe it. I'm chosen. Say, I'm chosen to be beautiful. I'm chosen to display his splendor. I'm chosen to be fruitful. I'm chosen to take over. I'm chosen to dominate. I'm chosen to win. Frustration is just from my life. Stagnation is just from my life. Discouragement is just from my life. I'm chosen. I'm chosen. Overnight, I'm bearing fruit. Overnight, my estate is changing. Overnight, everything is well. Overnight, overnight, overnight. I'm beautified overnight. Overnight, overnight, overnight. There's no process to it. I believe the word and I enter. Oh, thank you, Lord. 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 He's not a man that he should lie. Not the son of man that he should repent of his promises. He's not a man that he should lie. Not the son of man. He says, the very next day, the rod of Aaron was different from the other rods. Ha, ah, I'm different. I'm different from my peers. The very next day, the very next day, suddenly I'm just different. I'm different. I'm different. Suddenly I'm different. The very next day I change completely. It's changing for me completely. It's changing. Everything is changing. My family is changing. My business is changing. My health. My health is changing. My walk with God is changing. Overnight. 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 I'm changing. Totally transformed. I'm beautiful. No one, no one is drawn to a rod while it's just a rod. But once it's a flower, people come to pick it. People move it from here because it's a flower. They, they want to take it up. They want it to go up. So they take it because it's, because it's beautiful. They want everyone to see it. This is prophetic. They want everyone to see because it's beautiful. You are beautiful. Suddenly, even your enemies are taking you. Even your enemies are taking you. They are taking you. You are beautiful. Even your enemies are, are supporting. You are uplifting. Your enemies are supporting. The, the enemies, the ones who are against you, they are supporting. They are supporting. They're supporting because it's your time. It's time for you to take over. God is saying it's time for you to take, take over. He's taking you out of obscurity. He's taking you away from smallness. He's taking you from where you were not seen. You have dwelt in the cave of Adullam long enough. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out, come out, come out. It's your time. It's your time. Come on, say it's my time. It's my time. I won't dwell in the cave anymore. I won't hide anymore. 
I won't be silent anymore. I won't be silent anymore. I won't be silent. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. It was a road. So no one cared. No one did anything. Everyone walked right past. So for the longest time, people could ignore you. They were walking past. Because it wasn't time. <laughs> no! <laughs> hey! So, so in the book, in the book of Luke chapter 1 verse 80, please put it up for me. The Bible says, Jesus had to grow. He had to grow. Randa la rakatoria dobra saya. Jeda lia tura kapunda rakaderia sa. Reba deria pora kapa. Le dere ke dura kapora kadoya. Ye ba la rakadere ke zere ke dere ke za. Jata la rakadebra zere adoro kozea. Oh, thank you, Lord. And the child grew and worked strong in spirit and was in the desert until the day of his showing unto Israel. He didn't stay in the desert forever. There was then a day of his appearing. I'm saying to you, your day of appearing has come. You've been in the desert for a long time, but it was just so that you could grow. I am here to announce by the Spirit of the living God that your desert days are over. Your desert days are over. It is now time for your appearing. You are taking over the very mountain that was inaccessible you are taking over the very space that you were shut out of you are taking over hear the word of the Lord hear the word of the Lord hear the word of the Lord hear the word of your father you are taking over your desert days are over your desert days are over so the Bible says Jesus was in the belly of the fish like Jonas for three days. But then he came out. He was in the grave. But he was only there for three days. And then, after the three days, it was time up. After three days, it was time up. Someone is hearing what God is saying. He's saying, yes, there was a process. Yes, I was working patience in you. Yes, I was building capacity on the inside. I was stretching the container of your heart and of your mind. There were three days where you had to be in the grave. But I was just preparing you because you were about to come out. And the Father is saying, your coming out is now. Now you are coming out. Now you are ready. I hear God say so vutiwe, so vutiwe, so vutiwe. That means you are now ripe. You are now ready for the Father to harvest you out of the grave and display His splendor through your life and display His superiority through your life and display His power through your life. It's time. It's time. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. It's time for you to take over. Say, it's time for me to take over. Say, I'm saying yes, Lord. I'm saying yes to taking over. I'm saying yes. As I ask the apostle to join me, this is what I know the Father is saying to us today. He's saying, you see, this rod, this rod could have decided let's go back to number 17 verse 8 this rod could have said i'm just a rod in fact i'm a dry rod it's not even possible i'm just a rod also there's no ground there's no water i'm hearing the father say you're looking at yourself and you're saying i'm just me 
I'm, I'm just but in Zand in Kosyangati. I'm just me. I'm prayerless. I'm just me. I'm weak. I'm just me. I'm not the one. I'm not qualified. I don't have the correct personality. But God says it's not about the rod. It's about my choosing. I chose that rod. So I made what was impossible possible. Your father says I'm making the impossible possible because it's about my choosing. It's about my choosing. It's not by your might. It's not by your power. It's not by your ability. It's by your believing. It's by my choosing. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. Arise and shine. The glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Arise. Arise. You believe and you enter. And then you arise. Then you possess. Then you possess. Then you possess. And when the enemy tries to say, you are not the one, you say, I will contend for it. Because my father said, it's my place. It's my seat. It's my seat. It's my seat. It's mine. I'm not going anywhere. It's my seat. I'm so I'm crazy. It's my seat. You can't move me. I dominate. I win all the time. I'll remain here in the promises of God that I've obtained. I am chosen. I am multiplying. I am budding. I am reproducing. I am reproducing. I am fruitful. It's my seat. You don't just move cheaply. The enemy just comes. He just pushes like this and you're off the chair. Refuse. It's my seat. It's mine. When I sit, I, I sit securely. I'm not moving. It's my seat. I'm a winner. I'm a winner. I'm a winner. It's my seat. I'm above. I'm not beneath. It's my seat. It's my seat. I have abundance. I left nothing. It's my seat. I'm healed by the stripes of Jesus. It's my seat. It's my seat. I must sit securely. I must sit. I contend for it. The devil's going to come to try and say it's not yours. I want you to, to say never. Now try and move me never. It's my seat. It's mine. I'm not going. When the father releases a word, he releases it with an anointing to birth what was not there. And then he breaks all the rules. You see, if I want to have a baby, I'm supposed to first fall pregnant. And then I must wait for nine months. Hang it. Not here. Not here. Not where we live. Not here. Not where we live. When the Father releases the seed of the word, it's enough. It's enough. The doctors might say, you need, you, you need to take the full course of medication. You must take the antibiotics. And then you must undergo. The Bible talks about the, the invalid in the book of John, chapter 5. That he had been there for 38 years. And then Jesus said, pick up your mat. You see, he released the seed of the word, pregnant at once. Then you're thinking, okay, the next, the process is going to be, now I need to go for physiotherapy because I've been inactive for 38 years, so they must flex my muscles and cause me to exercise. There's nothing like that where we live. He said, take up your mat and walk and with those words, he released the power to take the mat and begin to walk. I prophesy that you're walking out of depression. You're walking out of financial lack. You're walking out of that prison. You're walking out of every cave. You're walking out of every oppression. You're walking out. You're walking out. You're walking out. You're walking out. You're, walking out. you're 
running out. You are 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 running out of captivity. You are running out of captivity. You are running out. You are running out. You are dominating now. You are winning now. You are taking over now. Taking over now. There's no process. You are taking over now. Thus says the Lord. It is well with you. Thus says the Lord. It is well with you. Thus says the Lord. It is well with the righteous. Tell the righteous. Hey. Hey. Woo. Hallelujah. Say to the righteous. It is well with you. Yeah. One minute. It looked like. The Israelites were going to perish. There's no food. There's people that are even eating their children. One minute it looked like that. Oh, but then there was a prophet who arose and spoke. He said, by this time tomorrow, I hear it by this time tomorrow. I hear the Lord say, by this time tomorrow. By this time tomorrow. Shana Lakata. Hey. Woo. Woo. By this time tomorrow. You know, the Bible tells a story about a woman who was known as a halot. She had seven husbands, different times, but seven. Even if it's different times, it's a lot. The Bible says she met someone who made her pregnant, told her, all, pregnancy is by the word here, met someone who made her pregnant. The Bible says he told her everything. Those words made her pregnant. She turned overnight like this rod. She budded and brought forth buds. She bloomed blossoms and yielded almonds in one day. She went to the city of Samaria and turned the city upside down. One minute you are a harlot. The next minute you are the biggest evangelist that the cities have ever known. I prophesy by the spirit of the living God. I prophesy by the spirit of the living God. You are anointed of the Lord. You are an evangelist. You are a preacher of note. I prophesy. You are a prophet. You are seasoned. You are speaking thus says the Lord. I prophesy. You are healing. You are healing the nations. You are healing the communities. I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus that you awaken to your nature. You awaken to who you truly are. You manifest in glory overnight. Overnight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Adras Arakada. Manelia Tunukudu. Dibadea Bada. Bada Koda Dada. Debedea, Debedea, Debedea. U Duku, 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 Duku. Jubuduya, Jubede. Janga Jeke Jika Dukuju. Yes, 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 Father, yes, yes. There are some of you, there are some of you, the water has been up to the ankles. The flow of God in your life, it was just up to here. Then, then overnight, it's going all the way. You won't, overnight, suddenly, suddenly, suddenly. What do I mean when I say the water was to the ankles? I mean, you were, you were able to choose whether you'll pray or not. You were able to choose 
whether you'll witness or not, but there's a fire that's coming on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The water is rising. You won't be able to resist the Holy Ghost. You won't be able to resist the move of God. You will speak in the taxis. You will speak in the schools. You will speak at your workplace. You will start going to hospitals. You will find ways to evangelize. There is a fire that the Father is releasing on you. He's anointing you right now. Lift up your hands and receive it. I release a fire. I release a fire. Come on. Take it. I release a fire. I release the fire of the Holy Ghost. I release the fire of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. Thank you for matchless surrender. There's revival fire that's sweeping over some people here. Don't hold back. I see the Spirit of the Lord coming over you. I see the fire of God coming over you. I want you to lift up your voice. I want you to say yes. Yay! Yay! God say I love that melody this is what I'm hearing God say he's saying that I has not seen ear has not heard the mind has not yet conceived what I have in store for you I'm hearing God say even the paths that I take you on no one has walked there before so you won't be able to look for a reference point. I'm seeing people who are getting new and fresh ideas for how to win the loss. You young people, God is bringing an anointing of creativity. You just have ideas. You're just going to suddenly know what to do. You won't know where the idea came from, but you'll know because the waters are too high and you are surrendering. We release fire, Lord. No eye has seen yet a Bahadea. He a la Kosha la Bahatele Babadea. Who ye leva Bashele le Katea. Who ye le ne Kade. Who ye le la Shande. There are people who came here. You came here because you were feeling just lost. You were feeling dry. You were feeling like that rod. And the Father has now just spoken a word to you. You came with the intention of, Lord, you have to touch me today. Lord, you have something must move today. I want you to come to the front because your Father is encountering you. Overnight, I am blind. No eye has seen. No ear has heard. No eye has seen. No he has heard Thank no you, Jesus no I has seen no he has heard no I has seen no he has heard no I has seen no he has heard no I has seen please come 
come. Please just come. If you are here and you are hungry for that touch of God, please just come. We want to release a fire of life into you. I bad overnight. Shalala kolaba da da da. Oh, I'm changed overnight. Who ya la ke? Who ya la ba? It's happening for me. Hey, overnight. Just come. The Father is touching you. Shaka tereke sika. Shalala kai. It's 
Come on and shout to God with a voice of triumph. Come on, let us celebrate Jesus in the house. What a word. You know, I'm sitting down there, the Holy Spirit says, many of you are expecting to see the rain. But he says, you've been digging ditches, dig, digging holes, digging... Uh, dams preparing for the water but you will not see the rain but tomorrow your dishes will be filled with water they will be filled with water get ready for a miracle get ready for the supernatural get ready whatever it is that is impossible with man has just become possible I say, <laughs> I'm so sorry to, 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 to the leadership of the church. Please um, um, forgive me for this one. So I'm sitting here. I want to come up. Someone sends, sends me um, a, a bank balance for the, for the building. They say it's, it's 267,000. I don't, I don't know how much money were we supposed to raise. 265, 259. So there are leftover baskets. didn't sow, or if God had impressed in you to sow, please don't make the mistake of not sowing. Maybe you, you actually had not thought of sowing. This sign here, there was a prophetic word that God is saying that we're going to have more. And it has already happened before we even leave church. Wait. Some of you, the apostle says that ditches, they'll be filled. We won't see the rain. We'll just find that it's now full. It's for one who is digging the ditches. If you were not digging ditches, you're like, you're fraudulent. Because you're like someone who didn't go out when we were sowing. But when it's time to harvest, which field will you go to? Which ditch will you drink from? So... We have this money, but we still need to change this place. We have a lot of... If you had not sown a good seed, please, if, if I am a prophet of God, hear me now. This sign is for you to stop playing games. It's just a sign for you. Stop playing games with your seed. I want you to sow your precious seed. If you had already sown, but now you're like, yo, I want extra. I want more than enough. You can see that this is the field. This is the field for more than enough. Bring your seed. Don't let what God has done make you feel like, quick, it's a miracle. How did we even get here? How have we fully paid off this building? It's ridiculous. How? Ms. Namalin, how many of us are in this church? How? Do you want to live in that miraculous zone? Bring your seed, dig your own ditch. So, 
I want us to celebrate God. Your your best. Oh, let's just stand just to thank Him. Uh, greetings, church. I just have something to challenge the church, especially on the, the matters of finance. When when Pastor when Pastor Mashazi was calling us to raise our hands. Um, for those who made uh, um, the pledges, and I said, ah, I got paid on the 25th, and I did what I could, and I actually even went over. But then when I was sitting there, I'm like, but the first time when you, there was, a, there was a, a special service where we, we gave our, our, our stuff for garage sale, and then we brought things, and some of those things were not bought. And I said, but I pledged certain things in my house and I never had time to bring them to church. And when I was sitting there, it was small items, but I then said, I gave those things so that someone can buy them. So I'm putting a better price on it. And then I went in and I, and I paid. And I bought what is in my garage. So I'm just challenging us, those who have given, those who have pledged, those things that we brought forth for them to be bought. We had a garage sale in the church the other Saturday. We didn't come because of other commitments. But those things are still there. Surely we gave so that somebody can, can buy it with a price. So there's a price to that item that you gave. I'm just challenging us to, I'm just challenging us for what? I don't know. But I'm just challenging us to see. So those who can see, please see it in that in the spirit. Thank you, Apostle. Come on, let's celebrate God in the house. Six, six, six months ago, we owed two million on these buildings. Six months later, it's fully paid with money left over. I don't know, maybe you think we did this because we have money. Um, because we are so many. So money is enough. Honestly, this is the hand of God. What has happened here is the hand of God. I was kneeling down there and God says, release a blessing over my people. Let my people be released into abundance such that by December, when you celebrate your Christmas, you will look at yourself, look at the things that God has done. You will stand in awe of the faithfulness of God. Because you have done this, that's what God said to Abraham. Because you have done this, you have sacrificed your only son, I swear by myself that in blessing you, I will bless you. Because there's no one greater than me. I swear by myself. This is what the Lord is saying about you, sword and spirit. He says, I swear by myself that in blessing you, I will bless you. 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 In Mola Hasusa, Ele Kepela Pa, Brelo Sabrandela Kaya, Beregli Samana Hasso, Besheke Barandele Bahasso, Beregli Stemahandaradaka, Ele Pranosta Lamange Seke Bendele Baya, Riglosta Makeperi Labatoya, Regle Samana Ikaya, Epeli Parakataya, Bassa, 
for you <laughs> looking for you they are looking for you shalaka masaya shaka mayaka they are looking for you <laughs> they are looking for you they are looking for you they are looking for you <laughs> they are looking for you they are looking for you they are looking for you <laughs> They are looking for you. 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 Hey. <laughs> Soya, Sheke Parakataya, Shakatarandia, Sekele la 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 la. Show, show, show. Suddenly, suddenly, my life has changed. My life has changed. 
In your presence, there is fullness of joy. In your presence, there is freedom. In your presence, there is, there is, there is, there is, in your presence, there is freedom. In your presence, in your presence, our needs are met. In your presence, oh Father, there is yokes that are broken. In your presence, oh Lord, there are signs, miracles, wonders. In your presence, there is there's the supernatural that happened father we just thank you for your presence in your presence oh god in your presence oh father even what we do not know you begin to work on it and work on it and work on it and work on it in your presence oh god we thank you for your presence for your presence for your presence 
for your presence she can tere kesika zibro sha can tere kesia zebre bebe bebe be sha can tere ke the fact that the, there is a community of sons of believers that that the father is saying i'm raising a community when you understand about communities that whatever it's happening it's not for special people it's for you 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 there is a community that is being raised in this season a community that carries the presence that is not only known to the community but this presence is known to the world father we thank you we thank you for your awesome presence we thank you 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 the bible says even the earlier disciples, when they, everywhere they went to share the word, it says the presence of the Lord was always with them. And he confirmed his words through signs, miracles, and wonders. We thank you for the assurance of your presence, O oh God. Because the presence of signs, miracles, and wonders is a confirmation of your word. That even in this season, O oh God, that through us, your presence, O oh God, is not just a feeling, but it's a manifestation. Your word is not just a record of healing history, but is a living word that is bringing a living proof. We thank you, Father. We give you all praise for the community where signs, miracles, and wonders are going to be a common occurrence. You, signs, miracles, and wonders are going to be a common occurrence. We thank you, Father, that this community is different. And if, 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 you, have, if you have witnessed it, you wouldn't want to keep it to yourself. I want to challenge all of us. We've been talking about Operation Takeover and Fill Up. May we fill this church next Sunday. This church must be full next Sunday. Next Sunday, not next year. Next Sunday. Because all of you, you have been in the presence of the Father where you have seen in the physical signs, miracles. You can't be quiet. You know, the woman, the Samaritan woman only just heard Jesus speak and got convicted. Didn't even witness much miracles. They just heard the Father talking to them. How much more you who have seen what the Father can do, how can we keep it to ourselves? May we go and witness. If you don't know, just invite people, 10 people. If you can't invite 10, bring one. But let's make sure that the miracles, signs, and wonders that are happening, we can't be selfish with such a move of God. We can't be selfish with such signs. We cannot be bad stewards of what the Father is doing. He has placed us here for the redemption of this city. And how can they not? No, when we do not speak to them. How can they witness when we are not bringing what is happening in this house to this city? All of us, whether we are a visitor today, come back next week, but don't come alone. Come with people. If people need transport, call me. I will pick them from every part of the city because next week, this time, everyone who has to hear this word must be full here so that they can know that in this season there is still a ministry where the Father is present, where He's not just speaking in words, but He's accompanying His word with signs, with miracles and wonders where lives are changed. Bring sick people, it doesn't matter the condition. When they are sick, bring them. When they are in luck, bring them. We are not asking, we are asking for people who are going to receive something for God and run for God. We can't be selfish. We cannot be selfish. It's fine. The Father has come through for us, not just for us to pride ourselves about this place. He has come through for us so that this has been a portal of transformation. Is a lighthouse for the seed. Is the word where we have been shown, we have been shown things happening in this place. But until those who must get to connect with the portal, their lives will, will, will never be different. 
but it will take us. Whoever the Father will, as we pray, will place in your heart this week, bring them to church. If they are too far, let them connect online. Let them connect with what is happening because it's too big for us. It's not for us to just be happy of what the Father is doing. But the Father has got a bigger agenda than owning this building. He's got a bigger agenda for this city. He's got a bigger global agenda. He's just giving us a foretaste that if you could take me at my word and you could partner with me, I will show you. Time for religion is over. Time for religion is of the living of, 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 of the Pharisees. The season of the living of the Pharisees is over. So it's up to us. There is something. The, 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 the disciples went somewhere and did what they were commissioned to do. Their presence brought about signs, miracles, and wonders. Let me just say by a reason, who's going to bring someone? Who's going to invite them? If they are somewhere, uh, if transport is an issue, I'm the solution. So we'll bring them. But let this place be filled. Not because we want to showcase, we just want what God is doing in us to do it in so many people. We just can't be selfish, Bazalwan. We cannot be selfish believers where we will enjoy the presence and the power of God and witness signs, miracles, and wonders and go home and be fine and say, I will come back Sunday. And say, even if they can queue outside and wait outside so that they could hear the word, it's fine. We will extend the speakers and make sure that even outside they can hear the word. But this is the season where the window has been open and all the med all the physical thing that the father has communicated is for the father to show us to believe that in the spirit is doing much greater things hallelujah let's give god a big round of applause hallelujah thank you jesus let's stand up and share grace we apologize for taking longer but you know our vision is to raise people of dominion and influence through revelation, knowledge, and by the Spirit. So when the presence of God decides to do stuff, we need then to allow the Spirit to do. Because what we cannot do, the Spirit of God can do. Father, we just want to thank you. Let's raise our hands for this service. We thank you for the prophet that has released the word. We thank you for the ministry that has been released. We thank you for everyone who has made it possible. Father, we thank you that today you are causing us not to be satisfied to be the only people who get to hear this word. We, we, you are causing us not to be satisfied to be the only people who gets to see and witness the miracles. Father, we thank you. We thank you for your move. We believe, oh God, for the signs, miracles, and wonders. We thank you that what you have done for the church, you are doing it in our own lives. What you are still going to do, there shall be more testimonies of your goodness, of your mess. We thank you that you are moving us from glory to glory, oh God. We give you all praise and all honor in Jesus' name. Let's share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. If you came late as a first-time visitor, please come and occupy the seats on my left. We just want to give you a small...